Hi, I'm Dave McKenna with Tight Lines Fly Fishing and TightLinesFlyFishing.com in Parsippany, New Jersey. I'm going to be tying one of my favorite flies here for bonefish. It's the grizzly shrimp. It's really a good shallow water fly for uh, when the bonefish are spooky or feeding in real shallow water. So I'm going to start with uh, just a white thread base here. Uh, we're not going to use lead eyes on this. You can if you want to make it a little heavier. Uh, but it works really well with some lead tape or zonker tape tied to the bottom of the hook shank. It keeps it nice and quiet. You don't want to be casting a fly. It's too heavy in uh, shallow water. So I've taken some match stick lead here and just uh, folded it over. It's the heaviest part uh, towards the front of the hook. Make sure it's centered on the top there. And we spread the weight out like this, it uh, allows us to not use those heavy eyes. Just want to cover that up good. Next we're going to tie in our mono eyes here and I've actually made these with uh, some killer caddis beads, small, on uh, some 40 pound mono, tipped off with a little black sharpie. We're going to tie these right at the uh, bend of the hook, here on the hot side of the hook shank. Trim that mono down. Using clippers for this because you don't want to use your good, your good scissors. We don't want to use overly large eyes on this shrimp either. We keep it natural looking. It's nice and even. Next thing we're going to do is uh, tie off this white thread after we get a good that. So the next thing we're going to do is tie in a little bit of fluorofiber. Uh, it's a real cool material. It uh, kind of captures the surrounding light and it's real translucent so it imitates these uh, small shrimp that the bonefish are feeding on pretty well. Switch over to uh, mono here. The mono gives it a nice glassy translucent look that we're kind of going for. So we don't want this to extend too far past the bend of the hook. This is a smaller pattern. Just gonna tie this down along the uh, 
that with the hook shank. About two thirds of the way down. Turn that down. Next material we're going to put in here is some white cashmere goat, and this is another great material for a uh, realistic look. It breathes really well underwater. When you strip that fly and pause, it uh, kind of keeps moving almost like marabou, but it does a great job of capturing light and really looking uh, shrimpy. Down about halfway down the hook shank. And on top of that, just a little pinch of some pearl polar flash. Tie it down about a third of the way, kind of stacking these materials here. But we're keeping it real sparse. You know, we want to have a narrow profile. And then some black crystal flash just kind of folded over for a little antenna here. Center those right onto the back. And the last material here is just going to be a little pinch of white grizzly fiber. It's a nice little barbed material. It gives it a real cool translucent look and matches the natural shrimp real well. You can tie this in olive. This one, you know, is, is white. Tan works really well too. And tie them in a few different weights. You can tie this in sizes you know, 10 through 4. These are synthetic materials, so they're a little bit slippery. When you're tying with mono. Just clean up that head here. I'm just going to tie that down a little bit. Build a nice little head and we'll finish it. Then we're going to finish this off with some Loon Hardhead Clear. And it's real important that you use a water based cement like this. You don't want to use any epoxy or uh, CA glues to finish these flies. Bonefish use smell to locate their shrimp, and uh, the second they smell epoxy, they are out of there. So this stuff works really well. A little bit of that, keep everything in place. And that's the grizzly shrimp. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at the shop, stop by, or drop us an email. We're always glad to help. Uh, all the materials that I used for this should be listed below. 
Um, so if you have any questions, give us a call. Uh, good luck, and thanks for watching.